starting off with my Laura Mercier Eye Basics and this is in the color Linen. And I'm just gonna buff this all over my eyelids using Aerial Techniques um, like buffing brush, eyelid buffing brush, you know what I'm talking about. And just buff this all in. It gives me just a light wash of color but it's not as drying as a MAC paint pot because currently my skin is drier than the Sahara and that includes my eyelids. Okay, we're going in with a Tarte Lip Palette from Tarte, of course, and we're gonna use this whole palette today. I'm gonna to start off with the color Super Mom, and I am just going to use my uh, Delium, I believe it's a crease brush. I'm just gonna use a light wash of that color all over the eyelids, and then I'm gonna to mix together the colors Force of Nature and Natural Beauty, I believe. I will list all of the names of each um, shadow. I will list them individually as used um, down below so for reference. And all I'm doing is just buffing this into the crease because I'm going to be adding darker and darker colors, but I really want to get that gradient effect. So now I'm going to go in with the color um, Natural Beauty, just all by itself. And I am going to just pop this into the lid. So the first color we use is actually Force of Nature and Caregiver together. And, to, and now we're using the color Natural Beauty again, just over top of the first two colors just to deepen it a little bit. And then I switched to a Sigma, I believe it's the E35, and I'm gonna go in with the color Best Friend, which is a darker purple, and I'm gonna tap out the excess, and I'm gonna focus this on the outer crease and kind of into, on the outer corner and into the crease. So you can see I'm starting a little bit, and then I'm going to intensify as I go. I really want to define that outer crease. So I'm just going to keep adding until I get darker and darker. And then I'm gonna go in with the same brush in the color Bombshell, and this is what I'm going to use to really deepen up that crease color. And I'm just going to pop some of that on, and then just blend it in. And again, just keep layering until you get your desired um, you desired shade. You can stop here if you want to, and where you can go like I did and just do another layer. I did two layers, and I just took a clean buffing brush or blending brush, and I just buffed out the edges because I didn't want my brow bone to have any of that purple color on it. So just wipe that away. Okay, now I'm using a MAC, I believe it's a 217, but any small eyeshadow brush will do. And I'm going back in with that color Super Mom, the very first color we use, and I'm gonna focus this on the crease. I want to make the moving part of my lid really nice and light so that the crease kind of stands out and it doesn't all muddy together, if that makes any sense. So that's why I'm doing it now as opposed to doing it before my crease color because it would just kind of get all messy anyway and I would have to reapply. So I'm just pulling my eye taunt just a little bit to make sure that there are no creases or anything like that. And then I'm also going to apply that color on my brow bone. And I'm jamming the entire time just so you guys know. Then I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Geek Immortal Gel Liner, and I am just going to do a classic wing. I'm not gonna make it too thick or too thin, just kind of something in the middle. I'm gonna speed up this process, but I will leave a link to my eyeliner video, video down below where I go in depth on how I do my eyeliner, either with gel liner like this today or with liquid liner. So either way, whatever you choose, I will have you covered in that video. Then I'm gonna go back in with that dark color that we use, Bombshell, and I'm just gonna use that on a, I believe this is an E35 from Sigma, and I'm gonna use this just on the outer corner. I want to add a little bit more of that dark color just so that it kind of meets up with the end of my wing because I, all, I want it to kind of connect. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not really focusing on bringing this any further in than my very outer corner. And then I'm taking a makeup remover wipe and just cleaning up any excess anything that got where it shouldn't be. And this is the kind of thing, and for me anyway, any makeup look just doesn't look complete until it's all done. So once your foundation is on, once your mascara is on, everything is on, then the whole look kind of comes together. I'm curling my lashes really quickly, and this is my Shiseido Eyelash Curler, and I love it. And I'm going to just apply a couple of coats of my Lash Blast mascara. If you didn't want to use falsies, just use a different mascara that really gives you some volume. But I was gonna, I'm going to use some falsies today, and these are just the individual lashes from Ardell. And I'm going to just skip this over a little bit because it's kind of hard for me for you to even see because the eyelashes are so small. But I added about seven individual medium length 
lashes to my own lashes. And I just added like six or seven on each eye because I didn't want this to look like I was wearing false lashes. I just wanted my lashes to look a bit fuller because I want this look to be really pretty and light. Okay, now I'm working on the face. I'm adding some of the Hangover Primer from uh, Benefit, I believe. And I'm gonna buff this in with a brush. I've been just really into using brushes for anything on my face because during the day your hands can be a little bit dirty and I don't want to rub anything on my face. I want to keep it my hands away from it as much as possible. But I am gonna use my fingers with a professional because I feel like with a pore filling primer, it's better to use your fingers so you can really pat it into the areas you want. And for me, it's around the nose area and um, around my chin just a little bit, just where I have pores that I wanna hide. And then, we're gonna just keep on blending that in. And I'm gonna go in with my Armani corrector in number two. I must pick up another one of these because mine is almost near the end of its life. And it's hard to see on camera what this actually does for my eyelids, but it really does help with the dark circles. Now I have, in my inner corner, you can see, it looks like it's 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 a dark, it's dark spot, but it's not, it's just that my, eyelids kind of go underneath my eyelids that kind of sink in a little bit so that's why it casts a shadow um, but this does help with the actual dark circle it just doesn't really help with a shadow and I can't do anything about it because nothing makes it go away then I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder double wear foundation now typically this would not be a foundation that I would be rocking this time of year because my skin is still very dry from the winter um, but this is really one of the only foundations that matches me right now. I haven't self-tanned in forever and I'm extremely pale and this is in the color Tawny. But I am using some of my Mar Badescu spray on my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki just to give a little bit of hydration to the skin. I should have used my Beauty Blender but they were all downstairs because I washed them. So now I'm just popping that onto the face and then just buffing it in with my foundation brush. And it does definitely, definitely helped. Uh, spraying it with that spray definitely gave some life to the face, but it is still quite thick So I fixed that with some fat uh, fix Mac fix plus at the end which you'll see and I'm just buffing this in and patting it into my skin This does make you look flawless though I will say and then I'm gonna go in with my NARS radiant creamy concealer in the color custard Which to be honest, I'm not super loving right now because it's a bit thick for my dry under eyes but it's still a beautiful shade and I really do like this concealer a lot and I love it for spring, summer, and fall. It just works perfectly, just not so great for the winter because again, my under eyes are insanely dry. And I'm also gonna pop that, pop some of the MAC, what is this, Light Boost Prep and Prime. This is just gonna help highlight a little bit. I wanna bring some definition to the face. I'm going to highlight under my eyes, chin, around my mouth nose, forehead, and I'm also rocking to um, Usher right now. You're my man, uh, something like that. <laughs> Beyonce, radio, Beyonce Radio on Pandora is my favorite. And now I'm just using a small e.l.f. concealer brush to buff it all in place, and I did go over it with my foundation brush just to make sure it was completely seamless. And then I'm taking my Reserve Your Cabana bronzer from Wet n Wild, and I am setting my under eyes with this, and I'm also using it to set the rest of the face. This is a beautiful translucent powder that's got a little bit of a sheen to it, so it doesn't leave you so flat. And for someone with, again, dry skin, this really helps bring a little bit of life to your skin. Now for me, whether it's a full coverage foundation or not, I always set it with a setting powder. It just makes me feel like it's going to last all day, and it does and I just like it. I'm gonna go in with some Physicians Formula Bronzer. I will leave a link down below. This Delium Tools Contour Brush sheds like you would not believe, and it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna pop this on, oops, and there it goes. I'm gonna pop this in my cheekbones and the forehead, side of the nose, where you normally would contour. I'm gonna do an in-depth contour video very, very soon. I'm also going to do one for drugstore uh, cream and regular, so keep an eye out for that. But you know, I'm just bronzing up the face a little bit and defining the outer uh, portions of my face, I guess, the perimeter of my face. So just the usual place one would contour. And then I'm gonna go back in my eye really quickly. I'm using a Rimmel eyeliner. It's a purple eyeliner. Again, I will leave the name of every product I use down below. 
I didn't want to use a black liner, so I used this one and I really loved the look it gave it. It just intensified the lower lash line a little bit, but it didn't make it dark because I wanted to keep this really lovely and light. And I'm also going in with the color Best Friend on a flat definer brush and just pushing that against the cream liner to set it. This is a really beautiful look for a wedding as well, whether it's a bridal look or if you were a guest at a wedding. I just think this is such a lovely, beautiful, natural look. And I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit out of focus here. I'm also gonna go in with Natural Beauty in a pencil brush, and I'm just gonna smoke out that lower lash line just to soften it a little bit. But like I was saying, this is a beautiful wedding makeup. It's just really natural and um, doesn't look too made up, but definitely makes you look and feel flawless. Love it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of lightening up that lower lash line a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with that um, Super Mom color again, and I'm going to just highlight the inner corner just to bring a little bit of light to the inner corner of my eyes, but again, keeping it very matte. I want to stay away from any heavy shimmer. And then I'm gonna use these two blushes. I believe it's Mood Exposure and something else from that Ambient Powder blush palette. Again, I will leave the names of everything down below. And I mixed two together because one was too flat and one was way too pink. So I kind of combined the two together and I loved the look that it gave. It just gave you like a natural flush to the skin. And then I'm using a very subtle highlight and this is my Lorac uh, Highlight in Spotlight. And I am just, I believe it's Spotlight or Luminous. I think I have both of them. But this one is actually in the color, yeah, Spotlight. I'm just highlighting the face and then I'm spraying my face generously with MAC Fix Plus because again, it's um, it takes away any of that heavy powder look and it just kind of makes everything sink into the skin better. I dropped something else by the way, <laughs> that was my face. Using my Maybelline Lash Discovery, I'm gonna pop this on my lower lashes and I'm also going to just tap it on my, uh, on my um, upper lashes, excuse me, just to blend my falsies and my regular lashes together. I love the way those individuals' lashes just make your eyes look so flirty and pretty and nothing too heavy or extravagant. I love that. I've been really into them lately. Okay, and now we are gonna go in with a lip liner. This is Soar by MAC, and I am just going to outline my lips, and I'm also going to fill them in completely. Now, like I mentioned, I'm a little bit out of focus here because my mirror is so low. I have to get a different mirror for this part, because I actually use two mirrors when I film. One for my eyes, one for my lips, uh, one for my face, I should say. And I'm also filling it in completely. I want to make sure that my lips are completely covered in this, with this lip liner that I love. And then I'm gonna go over top of it with Pure Hollywood Liquid Lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna tap a little bit of that onto my lips. And then I'm just going to use a lip brush and just kind of blend these two together. That is not a good look for me right there. <laughs> and then just blend everything together. This has been my favorite lip of the moment. I absolutely love it. It's so long wearing. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So that is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you recreate it, let me know and um, share some of your favorite products down below. Thank you so much for watching and just remember, you are absolutely stunning and gorgeous from the inside out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.